G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Today we are going to make a box for all of my tools. Already I needed a, a toolbox for all my hand tools. I take a lot of tools out with me to medieval reenactment events. I like to have enough stuff with me that I can maintain stuff, that I can create stuff, that I can fix stuff. And so I needed a box that was going to be medieval themed, not necessarily accurate, but medieval themed that I could keep all my stuff in nice and organized. And so I'd have it ready to go. Let's take a look. So cognizant of the weather, which is starting to close in, I needed, uh, I want to get a few things done really before the rain does close in on me. This box is going to be 80 centimeters long. Get, uh, let's get creating. This is just showing the base being put on and clamped together. Uh, as you can see, uh, just again, simple butt joints. I will be using historical nails, uh, iron forged nails, but uh, not right at this time. Alrighty, so this is the toolbox where we're making our way here. We're using what they call a strap clamp. This removes the need for nails or screws to hold wood together. I'm using a very simple butt joint with ordinary white glue. I use the Sikaflex brand because it's suitable for indoor and outdoor use. That means it's resistant to uh, the effects of a bit of moisture and that kind of thing. Okay, so we're just leaving that to dry for about an hour or so and then we're going to put the sides and the rear on and then we'll start looking at doing the floor. Okay, so these are the internal dividers I've put into this box and that'll make everything just a little bit easier. Uh, I got these iron uh, hinges and lasp from a company called Medieval Fight Club. Let's just put them on. Now what I'm going to do is just go through the contents of my box. Alrighty, so we've now finished the, um, the toolbox. Now what I'm just going to do is go through what's inside it. Remembering that I said it's about being able to make, create and maintain all kinds of stuff during a medieval or renaissance fair event. And also this will be taken uh, as one of our primary toolboxes out to, a, um, to the construction area of a new medieval settlement that uh, Medieval Mayhem is involved in. Alrighty, let's take a look. First thing we've got is a bucket load of um, cordage. Uh, black gaffer tape, fencing wire, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, I find all that very useful for being able to, uh, to, to do a lot of the, the tentage and that kind of stuff that we do at medieval events. Long section, I have a bow saw, sort of about a three quarter size axe. smaller hatchet, and 18 inch bolt cutters. I've got a spare couple of axe handles there, and a mallet. 
Yeah. Alrighty. A 50 centimeter or um, 20 inch spirit level. Uh, and lastly, a Stanley Jet Cuts handsaw. Alrighty, so um, in the two smaller sections, I have a steel wedge for splitting wood. Uh, gloves. Funny, um, a couple of hand drills. Tape measure. Um, a small hacksaw. A couple of pairs of pliers. A can of WD-40. Another drill. Craft knife, snips, scissors, a load of pencils, chisel, sort of a mini crowbar stroke nail puller, T square, got a set of screwdrivers, um, spoke shave, Allen keys, mini level. Adjustable wrench, a hammer, a rasp, and that's pretty much it. Now, as I said, this is not a historic medieval chest. I get it, I understand it, it, it's not a medieval designed built chest, rather, it is a chest of tools which is designed to be able to fit into a SCA LARP or medieval type event um, and, and not look out of place uh, with a faux fur on top of it. This becomes a really useful seat and it becomes very practical but it also keeps all my stuff tidy, it keeps it organised and it means that I know where stuff is. I do go to quite a fair bit of different events and stuff and as I say we'll be starting work on our village uh, in the coming months. So um, I need to be able to know where stuff is and, and not waste time <laughs> looking for stuff like you know we all do in our workshops. But there we go. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.